Um, but in regards to what someone said in the chat, the, the, in my response to the new Aladdin live action, no, I'm not going to bother to see it. But based off what a couple of my friends are saying about the film, it's not bad, but it's meh. It's not like the Sonic movie bad, but it's also not Spider-Verse good. Well, the it's thing, meh. Okay. I, I didn't. It's forgettable. Yeah, it's I thought people yeah. were gonna say that it was good because it's got an 87 like percent of Rotten Tomatoes. Oh no, it's got 56. And it dropped down badly. Yeah, Wait, it was it? Oh it's wow. It's dropping pretty bad. Yeah. Yikes. It it was, it's yeah. mediocre. It's it's boring. It's forgettable. That's okay. what I'm hearing. I don't. I'm not too surprised that somebody would say that because I saw the um because I saw a video on YouTube for uh, Prince Ali. Um, I have respect and, for Will uh... Smith. But it was so lifeless. He just stands around. That's all he it's does. It's the same problem with a friend like me. He plays it too straight, and it just doesn't have the energy behind it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Bird Shadow played me a copy of the song, and he says, "Bliss was the first thing that comes to your mind your mind after listening to this." And I give it a listen, and I says, "Lacking energy." Yep. There's no energy. I don't feel the energy. I mean, it has a nice, catchy, jazzy feel, but it lacks the oomph and energy that the previous one had. If anything, I thought they were going to yeah. approve the song. But, yeah. You know, it's kind of like one of those disappointments. Like, I saw the new Mary Poppins film, finally. And it was good. I actually cried. I loved, I loved it. it. See, that's because, they got, so they, that's because they got Lynn, uh, Lynn Miranda Manuel. Miranda. Yeah. Lynn, Lynn Manuel Miranda. Miranda on the job. That You know when he's on the job, then it's pretty good. <laughs> they did a great job and they paid respects to the original we, we got a few shout outs to some original characters i almost cried during the actual 2d animation bit because yes, i didn't think they were, they were so gonna bring good. it back but oh, they did and it looked was, amazing so good that was, yeah, I was like, I, like when i saw that in theaters chrissy can also back me up on this i was grinning like a moron Mm -hmm. I was super happy oh, to see Oh, me too. Yeah. You have no idea how excited I was to see that animation. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. It's just... it was, that was great. So, yeah, Very Solar well was in the Solar was in the theater with me when we went to see it, and he saw how happy I was with it. And if I remember correctly, didn't the 2D animation style they used had more of like the 60s and yeah, 50s style? Yeah, the sketch style? era. Yes, they did. Yeah, the, yep. The yep. Sketch era, yeah. That's what made it. The... That's what made it like even better. That's okay, the again, that's the era I grew up on. The original. Mm -hmm, me too. Yeah. You grew up with the sketch era. Yeah, my dad had, and my parents had a lot of the uh, sketch era films on VHS, so I, I watched had, a lot of those. I had like I pretty much had quite a variety when it came to the Disney films. Like, uh, let's see, um, the sketch era, the Disney Renaissance, and um, the earlier work, uh, earlier entries like Snow White, Bambi, Dumbo. Same. The same. Uh, I had yeah. Snow White. Well, I gotta what? ask you. I gotta ask you this though, Brett. Have you seen Bed Knobs and Broomsticks? No, I haven't. I need to uh, see that. Oh, because it's very much in the same style as Mary Poppins. There is a scene. It is a live action oh, movie shit, about shit, shit, a witch yeah, yeah. during World War II times. I was gonna and, say, uh, wasn't there Nazis in that one? Yeah, there were actually. Um, <laughs> but uh, so there are these children, and they are basically being fostered by this woman because during rough times, UK children hey, had really. to be separated from their Wait families. And uh, they got put in charge of this one lady, and she just so happened to be a witch. Um, huh? She's a good witch. What? Bed knobs and broomsticks. Are you yeah, kidding? Is it like, uh, wait, 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 is it like Nanny McPhee? No, nothing like Nanny McPhee. Then, wait a minute. So, nothing like Nanny. I came okay. in on a very interesting time. Well, well we were talking about. Uh, I already had the ice cream. I had the ice cream. Oh fuck! We, we, we were talking about. We, we, we were talking, we were about, talking Disney about different films. Disney films, and then it okay, deranged okay, yeah. Let me get to my point. Let me get to my point. Okay, this yeah, yeah. witch is trying to find a very special spell book because she's trying to master this very unique spell where she could bring inanimate, inanimate objects to life to help in the war because she's trying oh. to serve her country. Um, there is a scene where, um, well, multiple scenes actually, where they end up on the ocean floor they're breathing under the ocean floor i don't ask me how and it's 2d animated the fish and the animals and then eventually they end up on an island the island of Nabubu, and the animals are also 2d animated oh, no. Go the, island of the, what? the island of the what the island of the what the island of Nabubu. <laughs> what the boom boo 
Yeah, I don't know what that means. That sounds like that sounds like a Disney version for fuck. I'm just gonna <laughs> find the, the video. But yeah, um, they, oh, oh. Hey, here's the fun fact. Here's the fun fact about that about that book uh, about that movie, Bliss. Originally, they were gonna have to make an adaptation of that during Walt's uh, years, uh, but uh, he he are. Uh, he uh they canceled it because it was too it, because it was gonna be too much like Mary Poppins. <laughs> of but, course they did. Yeah, but after uh, but after uh he passed away and during the seventies that's when uh Disney was slowly declining badly and they were desperate to make the next ne Mary Poppins film so they, yeah. they, they revived they revived the bed knobs and broomsticks project. The uh the Dark Ages after Walt's death. Mm -hmm. Even though I still like. The one film I would watch a lot from like the seventies and eighties was Fox and the Hound. That was a good movie. It, oh, it's a very got, good movie. Okay, let me that that movie powerful. still makes me cry. It that does. It really does. And so it sad. still makes me cry and I hate it. But it's I love it at the same time. <laughs> that plays when she's letting go of the fox. Oh. Yeah, that's the moment. Oh, my God. oh crap, I just realized something. What? What? The the original actor for who played uh, George Banks in Mary Poppins, he plays another character, Ben Ops and Broomsticks. He's 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 not he, he's not the lead protagonist, but he's like second protagonist. Lead attack. Uh, pr protagonist is I, I believe. La, 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 la. Anyway, Golden, I'm gonna PM I'm this to you. The say the N word. Hey, hey Solar. Solar. <laughs> Solar. Hey, Solar. Hey, hey, we were now just we got the whole family together. Fucking a. We were talking about which movies and Disney yes. films. Disney movies. Yeah. Okay, I'm yeah. just gonna PM this video to you because you'll love this song. Well, so we were talking, talking about, about we were talking about Mary Poppins Returns, and then that deranged into some witch thing that Bliss is talking about. It's Ben Ops and It's I've never seen thing, the man. film. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm gonna join the club. Uh, join the club. Do you club like blocks. Mary Poppins? Yes, I do. Then you will like this. Hold on, I gotta okay. send you a message. I, I, I also <laughs> like Nanny McPhee, and it sounds a lot like Nanny McPhee. It's nothing like Nanny McPhee, I assure you. <laughs> okay. I, I, I promise you, you, it's nothing like Nanny McPhee. Okay, now I gotta right, find right, his freaking right, name. Right, right, right. Where the right. hell are you? You keep changing your damn name. Fucking die. God damn. <laughs> Thank you. you see this one being with this We're talking about, about bed knobs and broomsticks and Disney classic films. Fucking die. <laughs> oh, Ellie, that reminds me. We were just talking about how lackluster the Prince Ali. Okay, there we go. Now I can send this. There we go. Oh, <laughs> yeah, Lord! So, that's like one of the songs. There you go. No, like Ellie. <clears throat> oh, Ellie has a lot to say about the new Aladdin. Oh, boy. I'm planning on. Prince Ali, fabulous. Oh, fucking stop. Oh, fucking stop. Unless you're singing the original Robin Williams, you will fucking stop. They're literally the same here. <laughs> Uh, I love how- I love how Sweetie Bloom on Twitter no, got upset no, no, over the fact- fucking not! How dare you! No, okay, no, no, no. I love how Sweetie Bloom on Twitter got upset over it, but not because of the song, because they called ostriches mammals. Yeah, I know, I saw that- I, I, You know, I agree with her, but like, come on, man. Where's the energy?! Exactly. Yeah, you, energy doesn't exist in, in you. You think that with the CGI, they would like have Will like transport to so many different locations and summon other characters. Yeah, and have them you know, say I lines like hundreds of guards with swords. You know, stuff like that. You like know, I can a forgive child. that to a degree, and here's why: Will Smith doesn't do voices very well. He and but he's not doing a voice. He's doing an act. He's, no, no, he's summoning other people. Like he summons a child, summons an old man. No, oh. that was Genie actually transforming in the old movie. Yeah, which is I was. Why oh, I right, which, right, 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 right. Which is but why I can forgive that. I can also forgive, to a degree, the lack of energy, because let's be real, you're not going to follow Robin Williams for energy. No. You're not. It's no. just not going to happen. No, the man was, oh, we will never have another Robin Williams, goddamn. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Unless it's Jim Carrey, but Jim Carrey's a ball he's, he's of a big man. Kind of chaos. Yeah, yeah, like <laughs> Jim Carrey's got Jim a whole new ball of plastic thing. face. Yeah, so I can forgive that to a degree, but the <laughs> Prince Ali and and other things, there is a lack of hamminess and zaniness that is essential to the Genie character. I mean, mm -hmm. fucking 
Dan, whatever the fuck his name is that I can't remember, who portrayed him in both in Return of Dan Jafar Castle and in the... Dan, I can never say that fucking name. Uh, but he, um, he fucking... He portrayed him in Return of Jafar and the animated series. And, like I said, you're not gonna follow Robin Williams for energy, but he was still crazy, he was still kooky, he was still hammy, he was yeah. still over the top and nuts, and he was still genie. This was Blue Will Smith. No, Ooh. yeah, but even that's even that's not like like Will Smith back in like the Prince uh, Prince of Bel Air era. Yeah, he had see, some energy to him. And, you know, I, I... are you fucking serious? It's comedy. Yeah. He does it so well. And he's just reenacting the same jokes as Robin Williams, but without all the energy behind it. Like, Lindsay Ellis brought, made a really good video about this recently. The part of the genie was written specifically in mind for Robin Williams. Like, like they didn't do it because it was a, like an actor, famous actor thing. It's because they thought, ooh, Robin Williams would be perfect for this character. And that was, and it was written around that. Mm hmm they cast not for like big name actor actor they cast for like a character for a person character. who fit yeah exactly you want to hear the most glowing review i've heard of the aladdin movie so far what's that it's not terrible that is the most glowing review that i have heard so far Oof. Yeah, reconnection successful oh did, did your thing just break I got disconnected again. The, oh, shit. Uh, no, it's uh, no, it's okay. It's not Twitch's fault. My internet just like gave up for a second. It's oh, not shit. Twitch's fault, but it is Twitch's fault. <laughs> no, it's it's your internet. Is but your yeah, internet fucking donkey It's not balls? his fault, but uh, fuck you. Your internet doesn't like Will Smith either. Yeah, he no, he doesn't like Will Smith or his blueberry ass. <laughs> yeah. <Ooh. laughs> Yeah, Ellie, you didn't know about that? Fucking about lost, nar lost narrator say to that, uh, say that on a tweet, and it's so fucking hilarious. It is. What? Blueberry, it's blueberry ass. ass. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I, I love oh, it. Oh, that's hot. It. That's hot. <laughs> that's hot, man. That's hot. Oh, that's hot. <laughs> <laughs> well, how is that you hot know, if it's blue? Ever since I first saw that fucking clip of Prince Ali. I've just been like, I can't, I can't, I can't. Give me the original. Give me the real one. And I've been listening to Prince Ali on loop, the original version, for the last five days. Because I'm just like, no, yeah. I can't do this. Get it out of my head. Ooh. Again, <laughs> I think the only decent, real decent song that they cover is Whole New World and that entire soundtrack, honestly. I'll have to check that out. I'm but just, yeah, I'm kind of like, hold them up eh. I'm kind of like, eh, on their cover of it. The song that I think they did okay on was Arabian Night. Yeah, that one I heard, but I wasn't, something about it, like, it, it felt like it was missing something, and I couldn't figure it, out it what. It was missing Robin Williams. No, it wasn't <laughs> you know what I'm on the fence like with? You know, what I, you know what I'm on the fence with, with the whole Aladdin movie? What? Uh, Jafar. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Jafar Cause like, just doesn't... Well, you know, because, like, Jafar has always been, like, a really sinister, like, you know, <sighs> guy with a certain voice that you can pin them up to. And granted, that's, you know, just part of 2D working its magic. But at the same time, the guy that's playing Jafar now, does, it's, like, I the same been. situation with, with Will Smith, is that he doesn't bring the energy into the character, and he's just there to play the guy that wants to take over, you know, the whole... The, 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 the thing that's going on, you know? It's not like... You know, this you know. is something yeah. that I hate to bring up, but it is a factor here. People are people get bent out of shape and butt hurt over the character is the wrong color. The actor is the wrong color. Maybe because they're not the best suited for the role, dipshit. You ever think of that? How about also consider the fact that the original story was actually made in China? Yeah, that's where it took place. Yeah. I'm just saying. What are you talking about, Aladdin or Mulan? Aladdin was originally... Aladdin. Uh, really? Yes. Huh. Yeah. It was. Just saying. But, hmm. but you know, I, I mean, I, I would try to, to judge the movie for what it is. What is it trying to do? Did it bring something new to the table? Did it 
maybe every improve single... things or whatnot, and it sounded every... like it has not. Every single sign, every single re review, mm -hmm. everything that I've heard about this movie says it not only didn't bring anything new, it didn't even live up to the original in any way, shape, or form. So it is basically, getting it's, a, it's it a... is getting the most mediocre reviews on Rotten Tomatoes. It's just but the mad. problem it's is so that mad. people will still go see it. Yeah, yeah. if it makes well, money, they'll make choice. choice. That's their choice. I know. I'm just saying that also, the, it, it also ensures that Disney's going to keep doing it. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, no, it's less, mostly no it's Disney. mostly it's mostly eye candy for kids. Well, might as well be. I mean, yeah. I I mean, there are people that would argue with me that Beauty, the live action Beauty of the Beast movie, was good. I argue uh, that it sucked. No, it was, I thought, no. you know, I admit when I first went and saw it, I had nostalgia blinders on and I wanted it's to be okay. forgiving because hey, Beauty and the hey, Beast Ellie. is my favorite Disney Disney movie. But the more time goes by, the more I think about it, the more I realize that was a piece of shit. <laughs> hey, Ellie. It kidding. was forgettable to me. It was just. I got some. I got some for you in the stream chat. Look at that. Just play uh, it. If I may, like um, I think I think it's the a, live action films would it would completely be aborted if they not just listen to uh, uh, their fucking financial bombs and their uh, and the audience, but. They, Disney can also do the same thing that they did to Michael Eisner, boot Iger out of the out of the company. Uh, they won't because money, they won't. money, money, yeah. money, money. Okay, no, 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 no. Like, there's a lot of shit happening with Iger. Apparently, the granddaughter of Walt Disney herself, she is pissed off. The, the problem Iger. is, eg, the problem is the Disney family doesn't really have much say in the actual company itself. Yeah, and unless it affects their bottom line, they're not going to do anything. 